Welcome back to the war, where bombers were juggernauts in the skies in World War II, capable of turning the tide of battles and wreaking havoc on enemy infrastructure. But not all bombers were created equal. Some were true marvels of engineering, devastating enemies, securing victories. Today, we're counting down the best bombers used in World War II. Aircraft that became legends for their precision, durability and firepower. From iconic American giants to stealth for British designs, these planes not only changed the course of the war, but also set the stage for modern aerial warfare. But which bombers truly dominate the skies? Stick around, because we've got some heavy hitters lined up, and you might be surprised at which one take the top spot. First up, we've got the legendary Boeing B-17 Flying Fortress. This American bomber was synonymous with the air war in Europe. But what made it so special? Well, for starters, the B-17 could take a beating and still bring its crew home. Built like a tank with wings, the B-17 was known for its durability, even when riddled with flak and bullet holes, it could keep flying. Armed with 13 heavy machine guns and capable of carrying a substantial bomb load, the B-17 earned its nickname by bringing fortress levels of defence into the sky. With a range of over 2,000 miles and the ability to fly at altitudes of over 30,000 feet, it was a strategic bomber that could strike deep into enemy territory, often without escort. The bomber became a symbol of American industrial power played a pivotal role in the bombing campaigns against Germany, including the infamous raids over Berlin. But as oppressive as the B-17 was, there was another American bomber that could carry even more destruction across even greater distances than its next on our list. Following, the B-17 is another American legend, the B-24 Liberator. If the B-17 was a fortress, the B-24 was a beast. It could carry more bombs, fly faster and travel farther than its B-17 counterpart. In fact, more B-24s were produced than any other American bomber during the war, with over 18,000 of these giants rolling off the production lines. The Liberator was versatile. It wasn't just used in Europe, it played a massive role in the Pacific Theatre, where its long range made it perfect for island hopping campaigns. It could also be adapted for maritime patrols, where it hunted down enemy ships and submarines. One of the most famous missions involved the B-24 was the raid in Romania, which aimed to cripple the German oil supply. The mission was high risk, but the B-24s played a key role in delivering a serious blow to the Nazis. But despite all this power, neither the B-17 nor the B-24 carried the heaviest bombs. The next bomber on our list redefined heavy hitter in every sense of the word. Now, let's hop across the Atlantic to Britain where we find one of the most iconic bombers of the war, the Avro Lancaster. While the Americans went for mass bombing, the Lancaster specialised in precision strikes that could shatter enemy morale. The Lancaster is most famous for carrying the tall boy and Grand Slam bombs. The latter weighed in at a massive 22,000 pounds. These bombs were designed for bunker busting and were used in some of the most daring raids of the war. Perhaps the most legendary mission was the famous Dam Buster Raid, where Lancasters dropped bouncing bombs to destroy German dams 
and flood key industrial areas. The Lancaster wasn't just about heavy bombs though, it had an excellent payload capacity and range, making it ideal for nighttime strategic bombing campaigns over Germany. Crews loved the plane for its reliability and ability to hit hard targets with precision, but while the Lancaster was precise, the next plane on our list couldn't be matched in versatility and firepower. Next up, we have the American B-25 Mitchell, a medium bomber that truly proved its worth in all theatres World War II. B-25 was famous for its versatility. It could perform almost any bombing mission, whether it was high altitude bombing, low level strafing runs, or even maritime patrols, it became a favourite for both the US Air Force and other Allied Air Forces. But what really put the B-25 on the map was its role in the daring Doolittle raid over Tokyo in 1942. In this bold mission, 16 B-25s launched from an aircraft carrier, something unheard of for bombers at the time, and carried out their first air raid on Japanese soil. Although the raid caused relatively little damage, its psychological impact on both sides was huge, showing that Japan was vulnerable to air attacks. The Mitchell was also heavily used in the Pacific, where it performed everything from anti-shipping strikes to close air support for ground troops. Armed with multiple machine guns and a respectable bomb load, the B-25 could take on various targets with precision and pack a punch. But as adaptable as the B-25 was, it still wasn't the longest range bomber of the war. Up next, we have a game changer bomber that could hit targets no other plane could reach. Stay tuned. No list of the best bombers in World War II would be complete without the Boeing B-29 Super Fortress. This plane was a technological marvel, years ahead of anything else flying at the time. It had pressurised cabins, remote controlled machine gun turrets, and most impressively, the longest range of any bomber in the war, perfect for the Pacific Theatre. B-29 played a crucial role in the bombing campaigns against Japan, with its ability to fly at altitudes over 30,000 feet it could evade enemy fighters and anti-aircraft fire. The Super Fortress was used in firebombing raids over Japanese cities, devastating industrial areas and hastening the end of the war. But the B-29 is most famous for one thing. It dropped the atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, effectively ending the war. The missions were carried out by two B-29s the Enola Gay and Boxcar, and they remain the only aircraft to have ever used nuclear weapons in combat. The B-29 might have ended the war, but there's still one bomber that holds a special place in history for being an absolute beast in the skies, and it's up next. Rounding off our list, is the de Havilland Mosquito, a plane that defied all expectations. Known as the Wooden Wonder, the Mosquito was one of the fastest aircraft of World War II, despite being made largely out of wood. That's right, while other bombers were relying on heavy metal armour, the Mosquito relied on speed and agility. The Mosquito could be used for practically anything. Night bombing, precision strikes, reconnaissance, and even as a fighter. It was so fast that it could outrun most enemy aircraft, making it a nightmare for German defences. One of its most famous missions was a low-level bombing raid on the Gestapo headquarters in Norway, which struck deadly precision. What set the Mosquito apart was its versatility. Whether attacking high value targets or flying at treetop level to evade radar, this bomber was as adaptable 
as it was deadly. And there you have it, the best bombers of World War II. From the Flying Fortress and the Lancaster to the Super Fortress and the Mosquito, these planes not only shaped the war but also defined what a bomber could do in the heat of battle. Each of these bombers had a unique role to play, whether it was precision bombing, long range raids or supporting ground forces. Together they changed the way wars were fought from the skies, so the next time you hear about the incredible bombers of World War II, you'll know which ones truly earned their legendary status. Do you agree with our list? Hi soldiers, thanks for watching once again, don't forget to like, subscribe, let us know your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to check back in again soon, that's an order.